If you want to learn how to make this delicioso meal, keep watching. First thing first, we're going to get that oil in the pan. Then we're going to get the stove turned to a nice medium heat. Because in this kitchen, we don't burn our food, okay? Mm-hmm. We got the adobo, some chili oil, chili garlic sauce, ground ginger powder, garlic, parsley, some salt, chopped chives, you know, just to make it look a little bit pretty. So here we are, we're getting a little bit of the chili oil. You want to use a teaspoon. So you want to sprinkle the chili oil on there so you get a nice amount of flavor and not too much heat. One teaspoon is fine. Let's add some chili garlic sauce to this. We gonna make some heat with some more heat because who doesn't love some heat, baby? And yes, but not too much, okay? Only a teaspoon. Let's not get too crazy here. Mm-hmm. it up nice and good because you want your pot to look like this look at it isn't it cute yeah it look good don't it okay so you want your pot to be simmering now don't turn it up keep it on medium heat okay don't turn it up it's gonna be simmering it's gonna create some juices because i bought a frozen bag of shrimp so what i did was I made the shrimp cook a little bit with the seasoning and then with the oil and everything and mix it all up. And then I put it in the bowl so the shrimp could sear. I wanted a nice sear and I also wanted a nice gravy. So that's why I put it on the side. So we got the shrimp cooking for about, well, this was a raw, this is raw shrimp. So this was cooking for about five minutes. Got the nice little sear on there, crisping about. So I'm adding some diced onions, diced bell peppers to make it look cute, and some scallions because scallions go with everything, especially chili oil. Yep, add all that up in there. And here I'm adding my garlic paste. My camera don't want to act right and don't want to focus. It's okay though. Got the nice garlic. This garlic has a little bit of parsley, some oil, and a sprinkle of salt. I like to dice my garlic up at least once a week and then put it in a container and use it for all my dishes. It's easy and simple. You should try it. Yeah, so we got all this cooking. I put a little bit more black pepper and salt in there. This is if you want more flavor. You don't have to do this. I just like my stuff a little bit flavorful. So I added the gravy in again. I'm adding in the pasta. And I'm just going to give it a little stir. And then that's how you make garlic shrimp pasta with some chili oil. Try it out and then tell me in the comments what you think. Thanks for watching. I know you like that flip.